According to a report from Politico's playbook, Donald Trump is still very much calling the shots with Republicans in the House of Representatives to the point where they say he has effectively tied the hands of Republican minority leader, Kevin McCarthy. Now you'll recall Kevin McCarthy and Donald Trump earlier this year, in fact, starting on insurrection day, had a bit of a falling out. Kevin McCarthy was furious. Donald Trump then got furious with McCarthy for being mad at him and all of this fighting and back and forth and blah, blah, blah. But then recently McCarthy went down to Mar-a-Lago and the two made up, at least they made up publicly. But it turns out that Donald Trump is still attempting to control McCarthy and by extension, the entire Republican caucus in the house by tying McCarthy's hands on certain issues. For example, McCarthy specifically has asked Donald Trump, according to this political report to uh, stop all the attacks on those incumbent Republicans who voted to impeach you. And Trump said, yeah, okay, no, I'm not doing that. McCarthy says, okay. And McCarthy understands that that's going to hurt Republicans in the midterms, but he's a coward. He doesn't want to stand up to Donald Trump. So he's letting him do it. Then McCarthy says, okay, well, we got to start with the, uh, you know, campaigning. Really we do. Um, so we're going to use your name and Trump said, no, you can't use my name. You can't fundraise off my name. I'm not giving you any access to my resources. You have to do what I say. If you want that ability, if you want to use my name, if you want to go out there and campaign and say that I was a good friend to Donald Trump, you better kiss the ring. You better do as I say. And now this is where things get a little weird. Why in God's name would McCarthy or any other Republican in the house feel the need to go and say, Hey, um, I know you're a loser because you lost 2020. Uh, you cost Republicans the house and the Senate during your time in office. You, uh, pretty much torpedoed a lot of different campaigns of people you, uh, endorsed in special elections throughout your entire administration. But yes, let me go ahead and listen to you serial campaign loser about how I could run my midterm race. This is absolutely idiotic. I mean, look, I want Republicans to absolutely get demolished in 2022. Um, especially because the Democrats keep shooting themselves in the foot. So it should be a cakewalk for the Republicans, but they're so beholden to this loser that they may tank themselves while the Democrats are tanking themselves. Hell, if you're a third party candidate, 2022 is your year because wow, both of these parties are so incredibly incompetent that it borders on hilarious. It truly does. What the Democrats have done like the last two and a half weeks is idiotic. And it was all 100% predictable. It's all the things that we feared they would do. They're doing it. Meanwhile, on the Republican side, these idiots don't recognize that they're worshiping a false idol and this false idol, much like in the biblical story, uh, is going to send them all straight to hell. So it is what it is. Again, if you're a third party candidate, strike while the iron's hot. And 2022 may be the hottest that iron has ever been because holy wow, everybody else is just so insanely incompetent that they don't even deserve to be in Congress anymore.